If you are asked to find the instantaneous velocity based on a position versus time graph for an object that was accelerating, all you need to do is draw a tangent line at the point where you want to find the instantaneous velocity. So what we want to do here is find the instantaneous velocity when the time is 3.3 seconds. So I'm going to move my tangent line to the 3.3 second mark. If you can't move a tangent line like in this program, but you have to draw it yourself, you try and draw a line that touches your curve at just the one point you're interested in. The tangent line should have the exact same slope as the curve does at that point. Okay, once you draw your tangent line, then hopefully remember that velocity is simply the slope of your position versus time graph. So at the moment in question, our object should have the same slope, that is the same speed, as the slope of this tangent line. So you pick your two points, get your x and y coordinates of these points, then simply do your change in y coordinates divided by your change in your x coordinates. So again, you estimate where you are. So here we're at about 0.5 for our time. And here we're around 43 for our position. Over here, we're around 7.5 seconds, 7.5. And our position we're around 157. Okay, so if we take the change in position, so that would be the 157 is where we end. We subtract where we started, which was 43. We divide that by our change in time. So we went from 7.5 is where we ended. We started at the 0.5, so we subtract off 0.5. And when we evaluate this expression, that will be our speed in meters per second. If we attach a direction to that, that would give us our instantaneous velocity. So again, our instantaneous velocity is found by making a tangent line at the point in question and finding the slope of the tangent line. Hopefully you can visually see that in this example, as we move forward, our slope is getting smaller and smaller. That is, our speed is getting smaller and smaller. We're slowing down. By the end, our slope is zero, which means our object has stopped.